a skinny caramel macchiato, no foam. 753, consume beverage. Seven fifty-five. Jump off London Bridge. Eight fifty. Buy Molly a new mobile phone. Okay, now he's messing around. Seven fifty-five. So I meet Amy. How do I explain what happened yesterday? First, you'll have to put her completely at ease. She's a bit of a detective or something, so don't be all nervous, all right? She can smell fear. Just be super casual. Okay. So I'll just go up to her and say... Morning, sweetheart. Pardon? Dad, no. Try and bring it into the 21st century. Look, just distract her somehow. Talk about something she loves. We're out of cereal. What do you want? Cornflakes? Focus. Look, Amy's a big theatre nerd. She could talk for hours about various plays she's into. It's incredibly boring. She's also been saying she fancies a holiday. Distract her with that. Holiday, theatre, got it. So, got any holidays planned? What was the deal with that piss at the other day? How come you're hanging out with fat middle-aged blokes? Oh, him? Don't worry about that. But since you asked, he's actually a great guy. You know, salt of the earth type. So are we going for this run or what? He's a misunderstood character. A lot of hidden depths. Keep up if you can. Wow, I feel great. I've not been able to run like this in years. You spent enough time on the treadmill. I guess I can be a bit of a pillock, right? Ignorant, you could say. Well, you're no role model, but I wouldn't beat yourself up too bad. What do you mean about me not being a good role model? Enough with the chit-chat. You're giving me a stitch. Come on. Let me hear it. What is it that makes me such a bad person? Bad person? You're harmless. I just said you don't set a good example. You're just like me. You're a total workaholic and a massive geek. Dark. Well, that's a relief. Yeah, sure. That was great. I feel fantastic. So, when can we do this again? What's going on with you? You all right? Sorry. I don't know what came over me. Call you tomorrow? No. It's fine. I'll call you. Take care of yourself, okay, Jack? We better get our story straight for Shaz. Shaz is great. You're going to love her. Hang on, what do you mean, story? Well, um, to avoid suspicion yesterday, I had to make up a cover story on the spot, and I told her that we're related. Huh? Welcome to the family, Jack. Oh, it's you. I was just talking to John about his mysterious nephew. All right, lad. You know, I don't tell you this nearly enough, but you are definitely the handsome one in the family. Hello. So, now your family secret's out, I'm dying to know more. What was it like having John as an uncle?
Can't complain. You know, John, a total gent. Always has been. That's kind of you to say, Jack. I would only add that it was made easier by you being such a kind, considerate, patient, intelligent, handsome young man. So how long's Jack in town for? Oh, not long. For the foreseeable. Just a few days, really. Well, you can discuss it. What's there to discuss? Sounds like you both need to get your stories straight. Where were you before you came to London, Jack? Oh, you know, staying at home, playing computer games. He was in Cambodia. Wow, Cambodia. Yeah, he was working for the UN. You know, peacekeeping, noble stuff. OK, that's enough. He's done well for himself. Now he runs this high-tech startup you see selling solar-powered submarines to the super-rich. I hope life isn't too slow-paced for you while you slum it with us. What, I'm gonna head off, John. Don't be too late. Cheerio. See you later. She's nice. Submarines. Too much. So what is it that you do for a job, anyway? Are you a taxidermist? A taxidermist? No, I'm, I'm, I'm a creative. I, I work in design. I'm an artist. Taxidermists are people who take animals and pull out their insides and make them stand up and things. It's awesome. You having me on? An artist? Doing what? So hard to believe. I work in the interactive medium. You know, video games. That's so cool. Yeah, oh, thanks. Yeah, not not traditional games like shooters or RPGs or free-to-play stuff. My team makes empathy games. It's art, really. You know, games which say something about the human condition, cutting-edge stuff. Uh huh. I played this game. We had to run really fast over a road. Only I didn't, and I got hit by a train. I died. I remember playing this one back in the day that was set on this weird island. It had puzzles and stuff. You do that one, Jack? Uh, no. That wasn't me. Did you make that one with the train? No. No, I didn't. Sorry. You should have been a taxidermist. <laughs> So where do you work? Superfab. It's not far from your office, actually. So what does a computer game person do? Play games all day? Sounds pretty easy to me. There's a little bit more to it than that. Dad, can you put me in one of Jack's video games? Last computer game I played was Solitaire. I'm going to be out of depth. Don't sweat it. I'll walk you through it. Think of me as a master puppeteer and you my obedient marionette. Don't forget, I need to be taken to school at some point. Yeah, yeah. Now, first you need to find my desk. You can't miss it. It's the one with the robot doing the sick dab. Sneak past Sonia, the receptionist. Avoid any awkward questions. She's a bit dippy, so you shouldn't have any problems there. Alright, well, no need to be horrible. She sounded nice enough on the phone. You're mean, Jack. 